an annual tradition returns to Red Boiling Springs. And as you're about to see, the 2022 version of the Folk Medicine Festival was a success. This usually quiet town turns up the volume the first Saturday of each June. The picture of us when we were nine. The Folk Medicine Festival is back in Red Boiling Springs. It was very popular in the 1980s, early 1990s, and then it took about a 10 year hiatus, I guess, and then the Vision 2020 group picked it up, and so we've been doing it since, I think, about what year is this? <laughs> maybe, maybe about 2010, 2011. So we're, we, we've done about eight or 10 years. It's a chance for area vendors to show off their products and to meet a lot of nice people. Do you make all these? I do, I actually make, uh, all these are all handmade, uh -huh. they are. Why did you decide that you wanted to be a part of the festival this year? So I could actually do more uh, education on, to people as far as to, as far as with herbs, that there's more instead of medicine, going right to medicine. I actually uh, grew up on a farm and uh, I actually went on to school for my registered nurse and nurse practitioner. So, uh, and I started doing herbs before I ever went on for my nurse practitioner. And all this is just a side job that I do is just because I love doing it and uh, me and my daughter do it uh, just for fun. And um, we love doing it. We go to different shows and uh, we'll continue to do it just for fun and to educate. The barefoot farmer, Jeff Poppin, also educates those who want to lend an ear. His favorite topic of discussion, gardening. I like to inspire people to grow food. I think it's really uh, something that's innate in human beings. And uh, well, of course, the people that come to hear me speak are trying to grow a garden. And so that's why I oftentimes just do question and answers because if you grow a garden, you're going to have some problems and some questions. And, and I've encountered lots of those and, and made a lot of mistakes trying to figure it out. <laughs> so yeah, I just like to share what I've experienced. Diversity is what makes this event so special. There's always plenty of music. Now she's gone, even though I hold her tight, I lost my love, my life that night. If you like quilting, a bunch of colorful quilts were in full display. Plus, pretty much anything you can think of was for sale in the vendors area. It's a great event for this small town. Organizers say you can expect the Folk Medicine Festival to return once again next year. Reporting from Red Boiling Springs, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.